Please don't go to bed. So today we're going to talk about the 5 4 camera. And if you're asking what a 5 4 camera is, you're asking the wrong person. I'm just going to tell you about my experience. Basically, I went in with my friend for her 5 4 shoot. This 5 4 is basically a giant camera. It's about this big. It's got like bellow, like what they call bellow cushions in between, which is where the light travels, so it's light proof. It is just a really, really, it's used about 100 years ago, so I don't really know why we're doing it now, but there's none of my business. It's just a really old fashioned camera. It's kind of similar to a camera obscura, only it's obviously more compact, whereas a camera obscura would be this massive box, and I will be doing a camera obscura because I will use them. like a camera obscura but only compacted. To view the image you look at the ground glass screen which is at the back. The image is upside down and that's what makes it similar to me to a camera obscura because it's how light travels. I mean these cameras are pretty good. Uh, the results I got from some of them were lovely. Film photography does tend to have a better result just on how it looks. Just aesthetically the results it doesn't even matter the content of the picture. Film photography is nicer. Alright, that's just my, that, I just, I'm sorry, that's just my opinion, but you can edit all you want all day to get the same result in digital photography, but just by desaturating the photograph, but that, it doesn't get the same sort of effect as you would potentially get with a film camera. So in comparison to a normal film camera, obviously we compared it to a, um, camera obscura which again uses, is all about light sensitivity obviously digital it is but this is more um, you can see the light sensitivity that's happening like the light sensitivity paper things like that and it is is a lot more intense a lot more shh I need to learn how to switch my phone off. what I find really annoying with a film camera in comparison to a digital is what I actually like about a medium format 35mm any of them in comparison to a 5.4 camera. A 5.4 camera, I'm not even allowed to process it and that is annoying. I, I imagine the process is a lot more complex than just a um, normal film. The process seems a lot more difficult in terms of we're not allowed to do it ourselves so there must be chemicals that are dangerous, things like that. Obviously the chemicals in the dark room can be dangerous but they trust us. So yeah, I, I wish we could have that freedom of being able to process it ourselves. Having photographs with us at all times does make us feel better, or I don't know what I'm saying does, but it does make me feel better, because I know that I've got my photograph, if I lose it, it's not my fault. Or if it doesn't come through, I can see it doesn't come through. Whereas, for example, I just got an email this morning asking if my, neg my negs were this picture, or this picture, or this picture, and they weren't. But then she said, I'm only asking because some of them have been unsuccessful. So how are you supposed to know if yours is unsuccessful or if it's just lost or any of that? So there's a the complications that happens in university as well as the complications of, you know, if it does go wrong, you've only got one shot at doing it. Obviously you can buy it over and over again, but then you'd have to have like the holders. You'd have to have as many shots as you were going to do of them which is really frustrating and I can imagine very expensive. Having a 5.4 really did help expand my knowledge a lot. It really, really gave me a chance to sort of see how they were able to photograph people so long ago. Um, 
but yeah, just to, just to see what they have to go through, just to get like the one image. Whereas nowadays we're just like, yeah, clink. So just in case something bad did happen, I do take digital copies. So I take a picture for just to see how it all sets up anyway before I use the actual um, 54 camera. So this is my photograph. Um, it is to represent my dad. It's just to represent how far he has come in life. He used to be in the army and then the lantern is to sort of suggest like a finding your way and then you know having his name engraved on a lighter and Jack Daniels is his favourite drink. Not not that he's he's not an alcoholic. But yeah it's just to sort of show how well he's like he's been able to afford all these things. Like obviously they're only small because it's only a small photograph but he's able to afford this because of what he's done in a video where I'm just gonna throw in a couple of scenes um, just to show the, the effort that you have to go through to get a 5.4. I'm not saying it's not worth the effort, it is completely, and if you do have a 5.4 camera, which you probably don't because they're so expensive, so if you do have access to a 5.4 camera, I would definitely suggest using it just to say that you have used it, just to get the hang of it, but it was a good experience, if it comes out well, if it doesn't. So the next section of this video is going to just be me showing you basically the effort that you have to go through. So it's just a couple of scenes from when I followed my friend and her idea behind it was to represent her uncle. She wanted to use all of the um, cards of her uncle because he saved a lot of things and the cards were something like, is it literally bank cards? He saved them and she laid them all out in date order, it was brilliant and took a picture of them. I just want to show you the amount of effort that you have to go through just to take a picture of something as simple, simple as this. Come on, 
Soda.